This video today might be the most exciting video that I've done in my entire YouTube career on my own channel. Today, I'm gonna be making secret menu breakfast hacks at a McDonald's, which if you're new here, you should subscribe, but if you aren't new here, you know that I did a video where I tried a bunch of McDonald's secret menu hacks. I think that video is at a million views now, but today, I'm actually going to make them, which the fact that anyone would let me in the kitchen is Shocking. You guys know McDonald's has played a huge part in my life. My little sister, she's 17. She just got a job at McDonald's. McDonald's did send me a little name tag that says Leah's sister. I feel like McDonald's is home to me. So I've worked in the restaurant business for many, many years and the cooks never let me cross the line to actually get my hands dirty and make stuff. So I feel so honored that McDonald's is going to let me cross the line and actually get in there and make some secret menu hacks. I'm so excited. Ah, let's go, come on. Yep, yep. The light, the white ones, right? Okay. Okay, I have very large hands. I keep telling people, but no one believes me. Okay. Put the, okay. And then you put it, and then you're gonna wrap it. Hardest part. I did okay. Yes, you did. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I am so good at this. <laughs> so I wanna address the egg conspiracy at McDonald's. I know a lot of you say that you should ask for a fresh egg when you come to McDonald's, but all the eggs are fresh. Literally, here are all the eggs sitting right here. The reason why they're in a circular shape isn't because they're frozen, it's because they put them in these molds and it makes it perfectly fit on whatever sandwich you're ordering. But that's why it's aesthetically that way. It's not because it's not a fresh egg. How am I doing? Okay? I'm doing perfect. Okay. You're hired. Thank you. <laughs> this is cracking the yolk. Like that? Like if you're pinching it, yeah. Okay. Is that good? That's perfect. And then you just get this in there. There it goes. In two minutes and 30 seconds, they'll be ready to go. Yay! And does it ring? Yeah. Okay. Start beeping. A few moments later. Six, five, four, three, two, one! Yay! I've never felt more supported in my life. Wait. <laughs> Wait, did I do it right? Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love this place. It is the happiest place on earth. Wait, is that Disneyland? That's different. But this is also a happy place. Okay, I got the sausage. Okay, I'm on my own here, people. Gonna kill it. Don't you worry. Do a little wrap number here. I did it. Freaking nailed it. So today McDonald's is so gracious in allowing me to create three secret menu items of my own. I don't know what I'm gonna call these secret menu items. I actually would love for you guys to name them in the comments. This first hack is actually combining all of my very favorite items at McDonald's. A plain cheeseburger, hash brown, and a sausage egg and cheese biscuit. So I'm gonna put the sausage patty down first. And then I'm gonna place the fresh beef patty with some cheese on top of that. Then I'm gonna do my round egg that I made earlier. And then I'm gonna top it with a hash brown on top. I have completed this beautiful, delicious monstrosity of a secret menu sandwich. Warm up my TMJ. I'm gonna try to get every single layer that I can. Oops, I'm gonna have to sweep that up later. This is so bomb. This is so bomb. I think because the patties are fresh patty and not the frozen patties, which you can't request by the way, this oh my, this is so good. There's like so many yummy textures. It's very dense. This is definitely a cheat day meal. That's a damn good cheat day. And it's like worth every single calorie. I've peaked in my creation of secret menu hacks. I'm a legend. I'm basically like Mariah Carey at McDonald's. I don't know her. I don't know her. Right. So one of you recommended me put a fried chicken patty on the McGriddle bread. I decided I would top that with some bacon, 
and oh. some hot cake syrup because it's kind of like a waffle and fried chicken combo. Take my chicken patty. It is a little bit big for the griddle bread, but I like it big. I've got my bacon well done because I really can't eat bacon unless it's crispy. Do a little oh. syrup in my aisle. I'm gonna top it with a little drizz of hot cake syrup. And you guys know I eat a lot of this stuff in my car usually when I film all my food videos. This is one that will ruin your clothes, your hair, your makeup, your car, your relationship, your relationship with your pants. Oh. Mm. The syrup is not that sweet. The fried chicken really cuts the sweetness. It's just like a little bit of sweet and a little bit of salty. Actually, it's a really nice balance of flavor. My only critique is that it's messy. It's like a honey chicken breakfast sandwich. The bread is sweet. Oh my gosh, it's really good. You just keep exploring as you keep chewing. I gotta take another bite. Okay, one more bite. Maybe I'm a chef and I didn't know it. They're like, no, you're definitely not gonna be a chef. My last secret menu item. It's really not a breakfast item. If you're 12 years old, it probably could be. Or if you're me. This next item requires McDonald's famous hotcakes. I actually brought in a couple of extras today. I brought in Nutella. I brought in these like sweetened glazed pecans, some whipped cream, and I'm basically gonna make a hot cake cake with it. This is obviously not something you could order at McDonald's yourself, so you have to take this home and custom make it yourself. But much like my potato chip pizza invention, it's worth it. The OG subscribers know about the potato chip pizza. I'm gonna basically start with Nutella, because everything good in life starts with Nutella. <laughs> then I'm gonna do some pecans. Come for me, all you pecan lovers out there. Oh, there's a cranberry in there. Cranberries and raisins are like the food no one ever asked for. Going in for layer number two, McDonald's. You gotta get this on your menu, stat. This can't be a secret anymore. Here's where it gets extra nutritional. We're gonna do some ice cream. probably put a cherry on top for aesthetic purposes, but I don't eat cherries. Although I can tie a knot with the cherry stem with my tongue. No one asked for that fun fact. So I'm gonna skip the cherry part and just dive right on in to what I think is probably the best thing I've ever cooked in my whole life. Oh, I'm, someone hire me. Oh, I just dropped a little bit. Crap, I gotta clean that up. I made a mess. Careful everyone, we have a wet emergency on the floor. Caution. This is so stinking delicious. The ice cream is so perfect. Like an ice cream cake. Oh crap, I dropped again. The first secret menu hack is my favorite when it comes to normal salty food. But there is nothing better and nothing sweeter in the dessert land at McDonald's than what I just created. So. McDonald's, call me. I'm trained, I'm qualified, I've proven myself. Oh, I just dropped a little bit. Crap, crap, I dropped again. I don't know about you guys, I've never been in the McDonald's kitchen, so seeing how it all happens back here was so exciting. I wanted to just give you a little walkthrough tour. I'm trying also not to get in the way of people who are working really hard to serve customers, so, so let's go. First, you will see the egg station. They make all of their eggs fresh here. And then this is kind of the assembly station. They call it the, it's a UHC. Universal Housing hold, Holding. Crap. Universal Holding Cabinet. Once they cook all of the food, they store it here to keep it hot and ready for you when you order it. That's why it happens so quickly. So keep coming. Here is kind of where they store their bacon. I've been tempted to eat this multiple times this morning. I have not yet because I'm trying to be respectful. This is the grill, the griddle area. This is where I made sausages this morning. You can cook anything, burger patties, right here on the grill. This is one of my favorite places on Earth. It is where you deep fry things. This is where the nuggets go. The fish fillet goes here. Here is the convection area where they heat up all of their cookies. There were a bunch of cookies here earlier. They cook their bacon in here fresh. This is where they store a lot of their fresh ingredients, including the hot cakes and all the extras for your burgers and sandwiches, lettuce, cheese, onions, those types of things. Oh, here are the hash rounds. 
rounds. Do you call it hash browns or hash rounds? Let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh, this is where they make all the coffee drinks. So this is the drive through window. Hello! She's working hard. This is actually where my sister works most of the time when she's at McDonald's. So uh, this looks very familiar to me and all the selfies she's taken and sent to me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in your way. That's a little mini tour. There's probably some stuff I missed because I'm not an expert at this, but I am an expert <laughs> based on that footage. No, we're gonna cut that, Jen says no, okay. I've had so much fun today. Thank you so much to McDonald's and Gardena for letting me come get in the kitchen, try out some new things, learn a few things, really just kind of explore all the many options that McDonald's has. I know a lot of people think I'm annoying when I customize my orders, but I got word from McDonald's. They want everyone to be customizing their orders. They want you to get creative with what you eat. Baby. Okay, they're doing a huge secret menu item competition right now, so I'm kind of in the middle of it all. So I'm gonna wrap this out. You guys subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments what other kitchen would you like to see me get into. And that is it for this video. Oh, I'm so happy. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.